A small plane crashed at the end of a runway at the Chattanooga Metropolitan Airport this morning. News 12's Nick Hill is live in the studio as he went to the airport to learn what first responders encountered this morning. Nick, what can you tell us? Hi, Kay. Officials say shortly after 10 this morning, they received a report of a single engine plane crash on the north end of runway 2. That's when firefighters and other first responders sprang into action. Uh, we had 12 companies, Special Operations Division, along with our hazmat team that responded, which is a normal response for us. The Chattanooga Airport Fire Departments combined to respond to the crash Wednesday morning. The plane was a Mooney M20R Ovation single engine plane, as FAA records show the plane was manufactured in 1999. The records show that it is registered in Hamilton County and was recently recertified in February of this year. Flight logs show that the plane had previously taken a trip to Gulf Shores, Alabama in the past week, flying initially from Lafayette and Walker County to Gulf Shores before that plane returned to Chattanooga over the weekend. This morning, logs show that the plane took off from the Chattanooga airport, made a circular pattern before returning to the airport when the crash took place. When firefighters arrived on the scene, they say they found the men inside the plane and worked to free them from the wreckage. No smoke, no fire. Uh, we checked for fuel leaks. There were no fuel leaks. Uh, we secured the scene for the airport and then we got back in service. You can still see the wreckage here on the north end of the Chattanooga Airport. The plane is surrounded by police tape. It is green and white with the call sign at N62GH. And it appears to still be mostly intact as we can both see the wing and body together from this vantage point. The primary runway had to be temporarily closed for a half hour while responders tended to the scene. Officials say it did not have too much of an impact on other travelers. I saw a couple land after we reopened the runway. I think there was a departing aircraft that held for a little bit before it left, but I don't think there was really any problems as such with regarding the runway being closed. The two men in the plane were taken to a hospital by Hamilton County EMS. Their condition has not been released, but officials said they were alert when they reached them. The NTSB has told News 12 they have not begun an investigation, but will be communicating with the FAA on the need for one. Reporting live, Nick Hill, News 12.